Hey, I'm Chloe Guevara, and I'm the Chatsworth Worship Minister. And I'm so excited that our church is going to a season where we're gonna be seeking the Lord together in this intentional way. And we're gonna be spending some time reading and applying God's word, praying together. We're also gonna be seeking God just as a church. And so today, I wanna to bring you a scripture from Matthew 6, 11 through 15, and I'm gonna read it to you now. It says, give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their offenses, your heavenly Father will forgive you as well. But if you don't forgive others, your Father will not forgive your offenses. So this comes from the Lord's Prayer, which is an awesome prayer that we get to see as a model for us in prayer. It's part of Jesus is teaching to his disciples, and this is a simple guide for us and some principles as we pray. In this prayer, Jesus um, calls out to God as our Father, reminding us that we're his family, that we're his children, and that we can rely on him for our daily bread, our provision for each day. So knowing we're in this relationship with God, it's so important to know that we have to ask forgiveness in a relationship that we're in because we know that we we hurt and we wound in relationships and that's the same for our relationship with god so that's why asking for forgiveness is so important now we know that we're already forgiven by jesus sacrifice but our asking for forgiveness is still important relationally because we recognize that we offend god and we hurt him through our lack of trust and submission but as I said, we know that God forgives us. But we see a big warning here that in light of our forgiveness that we receive from God, we also have to extend that forgiveness to others. We know this isn't a salvation issue because we carry around unforgiveness all the time that we don't even know about. But as we seek God's grace to live and grace to overcome, we recognize these, these points of unforgiveness in our lives that are just sitting there and we have access to God's grace if we choose to forgive. So God's grace comes primarily to us through the Holy Spirit and it's living inside of us, empowering us. So as we've said, unforgiveness is a sin and sin is rebellion and God is calling us to be like him and extend forgiveness. Because as I've heard, when we don't extend forgiveness, it's almost like we're drinking the poison and expecting it to hurt someone else. It actually frees us when we forgive. So as we seek to consecrate ourselves in this season, seek more of God, we must get rid of all known unforgiveness in our lives, recognizing that it holds us back from receiving God's grace. Instead, let's be a people that loves well and forgives quickly. Love always forgives because we know we've been forgiven. So I kind of want to end this time just asking a question to you. And that's, is there someone in your life that you're having trouble forgiving? Ask God right now to bring those names to mind and speak out forgiveness to each name as best as you can, even if it's hard. Do it knowing that if you don't, it will only hurt you. But if you do, it frees you from the pain of unforgiveness. So I want to just close with a prayer right now. Thank you, Father, for your mercy and your forgiveness that you have lavished out on us. Lord, we pray that in response to that love and forgiveness, we will freely extend forgiveness to those in our lives who have hurt us and release your grace into our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.